Dear viewers, you are with Tripoli Campus and it's me Jahid Raman. Today we can try to discuss how to calculate the temperature versus resistance of a PT100 temperature sensor. Let's start it. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. First of all, we can try to understand what is PT100 sensor. Platinum 100 or PT100 is a type of resistance temperature detector or RTD which is used as an important part of various process control system. So PT100 is a type of resistive temperature detector whose resistance change with the temperature and the rate of change of resistance is proportional to the temperature and it's quite linear. Logically, a question may arise in your mind now. Why we say it quite linear rather than linear? Friends, if you look at the image, you will see this blue line is resistance temperature curve of PT100 sensor. That is the changes in the resistance of the sensor as the temperature changes are basically shown by this line. In here, this blue line is not 100% linear. As you can see, when the temperature 0 to positive, then blue line is almost straight. But when the temperature goes to negative from 0 degree, the blue line is curved. That's why we called it quite linear. Friends, now let's look at the second image. When the ambient temperature changes by 1 degree, the resistance of the PT100 sensor changes by 0.385%. What will be the resistance of PT100 sensor at a specific temperature or from this graph we get an idea of the ambient temperature according to the instantaneous resistance value we get after measuring the resistance of the PT100 sensor but we don't get the exact result from this graph so to get that we will take the help of equation 2 to calculate the value of PT100 sensor at instant ambient temperature in here rx is measured resistance and we will use equation number 3 to find out the exact value of the ambient temperature according to the instant resistance value of PT100 sensor on the meter where tx is the measured temperature. So through these two equations we will use equation number 2 to find out the resistance of the sensor at a specific temperature and by measuring the resistance of the PT100 sensor at any moment we can find out the ambient temperature at the moment through equation number 3. Mainly equation 2 and equation 3 are the same things only the equation have been rearranged to find out two different parameters. Both equations have a coefficient that is alpha constant. We use equation 1 to find the value of the alpha constant. I will put the value of the resistance of the PT100 sensor at 100 degree of temperature. And I will put the value of the resistance of PT100 sensor at 0 degree temperature. And here in the same way what will be the resistance of the PT100 sensor at 0 degree temperature. If we complete the calculation by multiplying it by 100, the value we will get is our alpha constant which is called the rate of change of RTD with temperature. In here Tx means the temperature for which we will calculate the resistance. We will put the value of the temperature. Assuming we will calculate the resistance for 10 degree temperature, then we will set the value of Tx as 10. So if we put the value in the whole equation then I will get a result. I have created an excel sheet for calculation easily so now I am opening the sheet. So guys as per discussion this is our equation 2 where we will calculate the value of resistance at a certain temperature. I have written the equation here. Now we will put the value of Tx. In here it is set to 10 so the resistance is 103.851 ohms. Here if we write 20 then the value is 107.702 ohms. That is if the ambient temperature is 20 degrees then the resistance of the PT100 sensor will be 107.702 ohms. At 0 degree temperature this value will be 100 ohms. Here if we put 0 then we can see the resistance is 100 ohms that is why it is called PT100. Now we will see that the temperature for any given resistance value of the PT100 sensor. If you want, you can write anything here. Give the value of resistance 100 ohms, then the result is 0 degree centigrade. 
that is the value of resistance for 0 degree centigrade is 100 ohms if we turn it to 111 the temperature is 28.564 degrees celsius if you want you can check this value from pt100 temperature chart so friends that was a discussion about the topic if you feel the discussion helpful and enjoyable please share it on various platform and let's others to see we'll be discussing the next video with a new topic till then everyone stay well and healthy and stay with triple e campus allah hafiz